In this video, uh, we are going to look at API key-based security for APIs in WS2 API Manager. API key-based security is the most simplest form of application-based security for APIs. This was introduced uh, in API Manager version 3.x. Currently, the API Manager is uh, in version 3.2. So this was first introduced in uh, version 3.0.0. So if you are using an API Manager 2.6.0 version or any any prior versions before the 2.6.0, this uh, feature is not there. So that's something to note down. And uh, yeah, so you can obtain an API key for a client application that you register in a developer portal of WSO2 API Manager. And uh, one thing to note is API key is a JSON web token type of a token and you can use that key to invoke an API because that will secure the API and uh, there is also some intricacies involved with the API key based authentication as well. So that is uh, the subscription validation is a mandatory thing for API key validation. So if you have generated a key, an API key uh, before an API has been subscribed uh, to an application, those keys will not work. And uh, so the API Manager Gateway performs two basic validations uh, when a key is sent over. So it validates the signature uh, of the key and also it will validate the uh, subscription. So how does the signature gets validated is by, uh, because it will be signed by a public certificate of a particular private key uh, that is inside the client trust store of API manager. So it, if, if you have a particular private key and a public key pair, you can import the public key under uh, an alias named gateway certificate alias. So the API keys that are generated uh, will be signed based on this particular certificate. So that validation will happen because when you send over the API key that uh, particular signature will be there so that validation will happen and once that validation step goes through the subscription validation will also happen so let's now uh, dive into running the api manager and see how uh, api key based authentication works okay i have my api manager already running so i have now the publisher portal login page so let's uh, first log into the publisher and then yeah so this is a, a fresh pack so i need to have a, an api deployed so uh, let me use the the sample api that we have so when i click that it will just uh, make sure that uh, it will install a sample api which is a pizza shack uh, api so it has a, a few resources as you can see here the slash menu slash order and so forth so the slash menu uh, will return the menu uh, of the pizza shack and so forth so let me uh, first publish this api because uh, we are going to demonstrate the api key based authentication here so i'm going to skip all the other steps and just uh, publish this api right away and it's currently the created state so let me use publish so this should now be published and available in our developer portal so then we can have uh, a look at that in the developer portal uh, we can click that uh, that should take us to the developer portal and you should be right away logged in because of the single sign-on facility that is available by default in the API manager 3.2.0 version so this API is available but I don't think I have any applications uh, except the default application so let's create a new application uh, for uh, our pizza shack for example so food chain and uh, Food application so we can just create one and as you can see apart from O2 token uh, for the production keys you also see something called the API key so once you go there and you can generate an API key and as I mentioned previously if I generate this key and uh, if I use that key to invoke the API uh, the invocation will fail that's because I don't have a subscription yet so one of the conditions uh, to use API key based authentication is to have a subscription in place. So first step that we should do is subscribe our API uh, to an application. So in this case, I'm going to apply that. I'm just going to leave it like that. 
so this is now subscribed so we can use these uh, uh, production keys and things like that uh, right away so this will take you to OO2 based authentication which is the the default one so but we uh, need API key based authentication uh, for our application so let's go to the application and then click API key and I'm gonna use no restriction here and you can also uh, restrict your API key to certain IP addresses and also to certain website using HTTP referrals uh, so I'll leave that as an exercise for you to try it out so this is also uh, demonstrated and explained in our uh, WSO2 website as well so so with no restrictions let's generate the key yeah so you can also choose uh, to untick this and have an expiration time uh, because of the demonstration purpose I'll keep this uh, API key uh, with infinite validity period so once I click that um, so you can get the API key which is sort of a token as, as I said so it's a JSON web token so JWT type of a token and now we have this token let's see how to invoke uh, our API okay let's uh, invoke the uh, API so let's copy the token so uh, I'll have to copy the token here I'll just keep it copied here uh, we have the curl command here so let me just try to get the curl command uh, and then I need to have as you can see we are not passing the authorization uh, header along with the OO2 token which we will normally use but instead here we'll be using the API key header and close it so let's call it okay it didn't work um, so one reason for this could be uh, yeah let's go to our API uh, I think I just published it uh, so you can just go to the runtime configuration and the transport security we have these two options application security as you can see I am still uh, uh, having OO2 here instead I need to have uh, both O2 and API key selected as well uh, I can just have O2 uh, removed but uh, let me just keep that as it is so let's save it and it should be published now um, yeah let's try to call uh, with this now and there we go and we now have the response coming back with our api key so uh, yeah so finally to wrap up uh, as i said we can uh, call this way and there's another way to call it uh, using the uh, uh, url parameters so you can pass in an api key parameter and then url encode the api key that we just received so i'll um, keep that as an exercise for you and uh, as i previously mentioned if you have a uh, you know public key private key pair and you want to make one of that uh, you know public key to sign your api uh, key you can uh, export your api key from the ws2 carbon and then import it uh, it to the client trust uh, with the alias gateway certificate alias and this is not needed if you're using the default version of the uh, product because uh, this particular alias is already there but if you want to override it you can remove it and put it with your own uh, you know public uh, key okay so that's all i have got for api uh, key based uh, authentication uh, with wsd api manager i hope you enjoyed the video Thank you very much.